Hello and welcome to some more Star Citizen. Okay, so the free fly event is underway, and I haven't been able to get into into it too much, but uh, you're provided with a, uh, a Drake Cutlass. So, um, in order to take part in the event and look at some other ships, you actually need to get yourself to Lawville. So let's head over there and see what's available. Okay, so here I am at Grimhex, and what I'm hoping to do is I'm hoping to get over to Lawville and have a look around the Interplanetary Expo to have a look at some of the ships. And once there, I can rent any ship that I like, and then I get them for about a 24 hour period. So, but it's not going to be as straightforward. So here I am, this is Grimhex. we we'll zoom out, and it's around Yella, which is around Crusader which is then on the other side of the map so Lawville and Hurston are just here and Lawville is actually on Hurston so if we zoom in there it is but I can't just go straight there the quantum drives won't take you there not in one hit so I'm gonna have to plan my route a bit now I suspect I could probably make L3 L4 and then Hurston but I might have to go to 5 to 4 to Hurston so either way I'm gonna to have to make several stops now an unpleasant thing about this is it doesn't actually tell you whether or not you can make it and it doesn't actually plot you a route it doesn't seem so ah <sighs> it's gonna be interesting so if I go over here and I just I just pick Hurston Let's just say I want to go to Hurston. Uh, zoom in. Actually, let's just click on Lawville. So Lawville. I want to set a route. Let's see if that will give me a route. I get into my ships. So I'm going to use my Cutlass, which is on loan at the moment. So in there, I retrieve the Cutlass. Now, from what I understand, Lawville will be a default spawning place. Okay, so do I go this way? Do I go down there? Dive down here? Oh, yeah, that looks good. Oh, fantastic, it's literally just outside the door. Okay. Alright, make sure I get in the correct seat, because I'm fond of just getting in the, the co-pilot seat at the back. They are clearly marked. Flight ready. There we go. Hello and welcome aboard your Drake interplanetary craft. Your systems are online. Right. Retract landing gear. Impact warning. Landing gear up. Thank you. Let's try and get out of the field here. Now, I don't seem to have any guidance at all over where I need to go. Looks like it hasn't actually set a route of any kind, so let's just blast out of here, get clear of the asteroid belt. Right, okay, so let's see if I don't think there's anything. Okay, so let's just go for Hurston. Let's say it's got a route, look. Let's set the route there. Okay. Let's see. Ah, oh, there we go. Now we've got something on the rectangle. And that's like a case of go straight to Hurston, 
run out of fuel and never survive. So that's not going to do us any good. So what we're going to have to do, if I zip out, let's go to HR3 first. Okay, so I'll go here uh, and uh, I shall chronicle my journey and uh, see how long it takes me to get to Lawville because it's going to probably take me some time. Okay, see you soon. Okay, so we're on approach to HUR Level 3, which is my first rest stop. Oh, I shall need to stop here and refuel. I love that the quantum drive was just yeah. Let's go twenty kilometres. Uh, Sunlight's really annoying. Nice effects, but uh, all the same. Okay, so we're in the armistice zone. So let's pull up. Oh, maybe glass. Contacts and let's get a landing spot. Please proceed to assign landing bay. And there it is, it's nice and clearly marked for us. Let's put our landing gear out. Landing gear down. And this is stop number one. Nowhere near where I need to be. Automated landing. Landing complete. And then hopefully from our Moby glass. Have a pleasant stay. Refuel hydrogen, yes please, and quantum. So look at my glass. Has that actually done it? That's done the quantum, so okay, that's probably good enough. Okay, so let's go from here. Let's try going from HUL3. Now it's taking me about a minute to get here. To let's try and go straight to number four. What's the worst that can happen? I could get stuck in the middle of space. That's what's the worst that can happen. So let's set the route. And then get rid of the MF. Get in the Moby glass. Launch complete. And line ourselves up. Oh, that took it was six thousand kilometers to get to this point. That's twenty two and thousand two hundred and seventy one that's gonna take at least a couple of minutes. 
So, but during any of this point, I could be interdicted. So I need to stay here and watch it. You don't have to. I'll uh, let you know when I get there. Okay, so we're now closing in on HURL 4. It's taken us approximately four and a half to five minutes to get here of real time. And once again, it's a case of landing and Quantum drive is now off. refueling and then going off. After burning all the way over there. Comes contacts. Please proceed to sign landing bay. And there's my landing bed. Landing gear down. Landing gear. This has turned out to be a little bit. There we go. And back in. Landing complete. Okay, back to the Moby Glass. Back to the wrench icon. And confirm. Let's see if we can buy some hydrogen fuel this time as well. Yeah, cool. Right, and so we select. So that was probably the longest part of my journey. Because I'm now there, I can now go straight to Hurston. Although it might be worth because. I think Lawville's on the back side of the planet. Might actually go straight there. Oh, looks like I might be able to. All right, so let's. Uh... Get the landing gear up. Okay, now remembering that this is on this last leg, but Lawville, if I can actually get this into place, it does have a no fly zone around it, like an orange barrier, and if you crash into it, you're dead! So you come all this way for nothing. But that's 12,000, so that's going to take about two minutes to get there. So I'll see you in about two minutes. Okay, so we're on final approach to Hurston. This is my first glimpse of Hurston, by the way. I've not been there before. So, uh, this is all new to me. Hopefully, 
Louisville will not be too far away from where we are. As that's the place we're picked. Quantum drive is now off. Okay, so I'm gonna have to guess I'm on the other side of the planet. Yeah. That's what I thought. It might be worth just diving out to the common ray and back again. Right, I'll get above Lawville. And then we'll do an approach. Okay, so a couple of quantum drive jumps brought me right above the top of Lawville. Which is good because the way, as I understand it, of actually landing at this place is to come in from like directly down on top of it to avoid that shield. Okay, now that really is clear route. Let's do that. And then let's just sip out. Okay, that's fairly annoying. Oh, that looks like it. No, right, let's get. Let's come in over the top and do a landing. Just coming through the atmospheric cloud here. Oh, I've lost it. Where is it? Oh, there it is. I only do forty one. Hopefully that red stuff's going to clear up in a second. Got no warning lights, so that's going to be a good thing. I can still see something through the red haze. Still headed in generally the right direction, I think. Still quite high up in the atmosphere, so I can probably thrust it a bit more. Oh, 
Oh, there we go. Contact shit. Nope. Hopefully there'll be like a, a landing beacon or something that we can use. There's another ship. Oh, here we go. Armistice zone. Excellent. Let's slow it down. Contact services. No, still nothing. What the? Oh dear. I guess that's the magic shield. Well, let's give me a landing zone then, you swines. Get the distinct feeling I'm going to crash into that red nastiness. Hopefully, that flashing area is safe. Ah, oh, there we go. Good, it's good. Let's head to that icon. Slow it down. Don't want to crash. Come all this way, you don't want to crash. <laughs> Deploy the landing gear. That's close, look at that, there's the shield, that orange stuff on the right there. Landing. There we go. Oh, that is really close. <laughs> yeah, that orange stuff is the stuff you don't want to hit. Otherwise it's like, ah, oh, you've lost your ship, game over. Thank God for that. I mean, I've, I've made it to Lawville. Yeah. That's, that was quite uh, quite frightening in places, as we said. All right, okay, let's, let's get out. Oh, well, now we know what to expect in the future. Okay, let's see if we can now find this expo. Where the doors in? So repair. Is that something over there? That could be it. Remembering that I've never actually been here before. So three arrivals. So that looks good. Deep joy. Oh, 
Aha. Okay. Test the spice for us. Tisa. floating around off the top of seats. Okay, so... Okay, well, look at that. M50 Interceptor. Oh, hope we're getting in the way. Can I just get the feeling it's this way? Ah, yeah, yeah, look, look, look. There we go. This looks good. We're sorry. You've exceeded the allotted time to depart. We will have to return your ship to storage. Initiating ship storage procedure. For your safety, please vacate the area. Thank you for your cooperation. Initiating ship storage procedure. For your safety, please vacate the area. Thank you for your cooperation. So that is quite nicely signposted. That's whilst I'm here. Well, again, twenty three, twenty six frames a second. Oh, there we go. Look at the showcase. Look at that. So, yeah, twenty three, twenty four. So that's still not too bad. I mean, it's still you, you've got to remember where I am and how much is going on around me. Oh yeah, look at that. It slowed down quite a bit there. There's quite a few people here, and look, look at all of these. Let's see, what's this? It's the Drake Buccaneer. Now, one of the Buccaneer is actually a... So, one of the things I was thinking of doing is my next ship being the Cutlass. If you want it to be a more combat orientated uh, sort of like player, then the Buccaneer would be a good choice. But, I want to try one out. So, what I do is I just go Rent. Pops up in my mobile glass. And I just go Rent. And there you go. I now can use a Drake uh, Buccaneer to fly around in. And if I go to my terminals, it will be there for 24 hours. So that's pretty cool. Let's have a look at what else is here. There's people running around with silly hats on. Which is good. What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? So today is obviously the Drake Day. That's the new arrow. It's a little fighter ship. Once again, you just rent it for nothing, you just pick up what you want. Now, what's this meaty looking ship? Look at that. The Herald. Look at the cannon on it. Wow. <coughs> it really is. I really like this idea, I really do. It's, it's, it's quite quite a fun idea to have. What's this? It's like a massive transport. And I believe there are other hangers as well. Once again, you can just go up to it and you can rent it for 24 hours. Cost you nothing. <coughs> ah, here we are. Familiar ship. The good old cutlass where I came in. 
So yeah, there you go. That's how you get to Lawville. Find the Aerospace Expo. And rent yourself a, a new ship to play with for 24 hours. Alright, so. Hope you enjoyed this. Hope you found it useful and informative. Don't forget this Expo is on for a limited time. So, make good use of it. <coughs> yeah, apologies. But until the next one. See you in the verse. Goodbye. Okay, so there's a slight appendium <coughs> to my before I say sign off properly. Is um in the previous videos I got to Lawville and I went to uh, the Aerospace Expo and I hired uh rented a buccaneer. I wasn't expecting this. But it turns out I can use it in Arena Command, although it doesn't list down as the ships that I've got here. I did rent it. And if I select the game and just launch the game, there I am. I'm in a buccaneer. Hello and welcome aboard your Drake Interplanetary Craft. <laughs> so you can check out the combat capabilities of any of these ships in the Arena Commander. And as you can see, it's a buccaneer. There you go, that's certainly not the ship that I... There's not a cutlass black, is it? <coughs> so, there you go, something else useful for you. If you want to try these out in a combat scenario without actually taking them out into the verse and tackling stuff out there. <coughs> Excuse me. Get yourself into the arena commander, into a pirate or vandal swarm, and you can test out the combat mechanics of each of the ships as you want. So, hopefully that's useful to you, and uh, you can do that for as long as the expo is about. Each day, I think, a different manufacturer uh, uh, showcases ships, so you can rent those ships for that day, for a 24-hour period. So, until the next time, don't forget, hit that subscribe button, keep up to date with our videos. Until then, I'll see you in the verse. Goodbye.